Hey, everybody. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have Krista Mayshore on this podcast. Krista, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Dave. I'm really excited to be here. So for those of you guys who don't know Krista, she is a ball of energy who literally, I have never seen anybody who implements things faster than Krista does. I mean, she's got, I think, I know of at least six two comma club awards, at least one two comma club X award. I think there's another two comma club award in the works. I think even another two comma club X award in the works. I've never seen anybody who goes out and just crushes it. But the coolest part, I think I love most about you, Krista, is all you care about is people. And every, you are just, I mean, usually people are all about the money. You are like all about the people and have had the opportunity of generating such huge success because of it. Yeah. You know what? I always have said this for years, people before things and the things will come. I, I just love people. I'm one of those weird human beings that just likes people. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't mind, tell people kind of about your industry. I mean, you're in the real estate industry coaching. I mean, number one real estate or top 1% of realist, realtors across the country, you know, millions of dollars in sales, thousands of homes. I mean, crazy, crazy success in that industry. Yet you had really no experience in funnels until three years ago. And then in the last three years, what'd you say? Like 14 million bucks in three years from funnels or something? I don't know. I'll let you tell your story. Yeah. So we've done it. So I used to, so I started out as a teacher and then I got, went into real estate kind of, I uh, was going to kind of by default. And I um, ended up selling 69 houses my first year in real estate and ended up being the top 1%, you know, pretty much every year. Um, and then I sold around 2,200 homes and th about three years ago, I was just, I had, I love real estate, but I wanted something more. I miss teaching. Right. And so I was um, listening to a webinar. I'll never forget this. I didn't even know what a funnel was. I was listening to a webinar. It was of course, Russell. And I was like, I like that young kid, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I, I got the book expert secrets. And then I literally paid $15,000 to go and to Idaho and build like the perfect webinar, which by the way, I already had it built because they told me before you come, make sure you go through all these trainings. So I, I like three weeks was just sat there and did every training and did it all. And then I signed up for his inner circle. And so, um, you know, I, I have to say, and I'm not just saying this, I give all of my credit for what I've succeeded to click funnels and to Russell's trainings. I just do what he says. And, um, you know, I wrote my book, like he's told us to did a free plus shipping funnel i did the perfect webinar but you know i pretty much sucked at it so it didn't <laughs> it didn't really ever work for me. <laughs> so most of it was from the um the book funnel and we just evolved like when russell said to do a challenge we did a challenge we did you know seven million dollars off our challenge and then we're now we're doing a two-day event so like everything i'm not the smartest person as far as coming up with my own ideas but when someone tells me a strategy then i can take it from there so it's been it's been awesome Oh, Chris, again, it goes back to that whole implementation. I mean, no one does things faster than you do. Again, classic example, you have your, we had a lot of people come to our FAT event, our funnel hackathon, where basically they got there, they started building out your funnel. You had your whole perfect webinar built all before you even got there. So, I mean, that is just who you are. And I absolutely love just watching it and seeing all the success. So congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I think the best part about it, honestly, though, is like the six, well, I've made other people millionaires from my coaching. And I think and not only that, it's even about the money. It's just like, when I think about being an abundant person, it's like being the best person you can be. And we have just, you know, our culture is just obsessed with, you know, having an abundant life, really focusing on mindset, being happy, giving back, being, you know, a philanthropist. And so I just love the culture that I've been able to create. You know, we call ourselves community market leaders. And one of the, one of the things that we say is that we help others, you know, become successful. That's what a community market leader does. And so I think, even, I mean, the money's great, but even better than the money is just like the culture of the people and how they're just such servant hearts. You know, we just attract just the most amazing people within our community. So it's, I love what I do. <laughs> oh, Chris, that's so awesome. Well, I'm really curious to kind of talk through this. I know the challenge, uh, if I understand correctly, the challenge basically leads to a coaching program. Yep. And so if you don't mind, tell me about the challenge, how the challenge works. And really kind of the value ladder of how that challenge then leads into a coaching program where you take people from there. Yeah. Okay. So a couple of things. Um, when we first started, uh, you know, three years ago, three, three years and four months ago, we, like my programs have just evolved, right? So initially I gave my program away for free to 40 people to make sure it would work, right? So I gave 40 people, that program now is, you know, 20, uh, $23,000 if you pay in full or $30,000 if you, you know, pay in payments. And once I knew it would work, I was like, okay, let's go for this. And so then we started off, it was like five grand and then it was 10 grand and then it was, you know, 15 and it goes up. So 
how it works is we, we, our highest converting high ticket offer used to be from a, the book funnel, right? So they'd read the book then we put them into a high ticket application funnel. They get on the phone with, my, with the sales team and then they would put them into our coaching programs. Um, again, the, the different levels of coaching are $10,000, Eighteen thousand dollars, or twenty-three to thirty thousand, depending on um, depending on you know paying in full or making payments. Um, but and that works great, right? And the book funnel was amazing for us because those leads are so so solid. Um, we get the leads from Facebook ads, so all all of the all of the the um, leads up until you know about six months ago have mostly mainly all come from creating Facebook ads through our funnels that we learned from Russell and click funnels. So that's where we start. Then about two years ago, I'd say Russell had talked about doing a challenge. So I did a challenge called three clients in 30 days. And so that challenge at that time would go, uh, it was a, it was a first a 15 day challenge. Now that challenge is five days. So we have found that the longer the challenge, the, you know, the kind of the drop off rates and tends to go, people have a really hard time doing anything for like very long. <laughs> <We're noticing. laughs> like five days seems to be like the golden ticket. So we do a, a five day challenge. Um, one thing that, that I'll say about that challenge, and I think this has been, I've had to learn this the hard way was when you're doing these challenges, the main thing to do is really to get people to have small successes and to get them to believe that they actually can do it. Right. So it's really breaking down their limiting beliefs, focusing on what they're thinking about. Um, I'm a huge, huge component of mindset. I mean, I, I really believe that the reason my students do so well is because so much of what I teach is just mindset and, you know, how our thoughts become our things and what we think about becomes our life pretty much. So we, we hugely, hugely teach on, teach on mindset in conjunction with all the business strategies. So they go through, um, they used to go from the five-day challenge on day four, we would have them get on what we called a business bump call. And then the business bump call would give them, um, would evaluate where they were at in their business, and then it would then sell them into our high-ticket coaching programs. We've since evolved that, and um, we're really, really glad we did. And I want to say something, you know, like for me to make my first million dollars, I think it cost me like a million hundred dollars. Right? Like it <laughs> honest about god this whole it's expensive making money right so and it took us i think it took us and i could be wrong by a month or two but i think it took me 11 months to make my first million and get my first funnel and then we got like three three or four, three or four more funnels like really quickly right and it just like it was crazy the ascension but then we had i actually made a really bad decision don't ever do this everybody but um i I ended up, I was in Mexico and my accounts got shut down, like my American Express bill, because it was like $400,000 American Express bill. And like my limit was 200,000. And I realized I'm paying my sales teams too much, right? So I ended up like reacting, being way, way too reactive and like making a decision to lower my, my, um, my sales team's uh, commission. And that like literally, I mean, I went from doing $700,000 a month to doing like 30. And I'm not even sure when I say that. I was like, <laughs> and so it was so bad. And it, <laughs> really, really, really. And I should have lowered their, 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 um, they were being paid too much, but I, I did, I didn't learn how to do it in the beginning. But one thing I have learned is never take money away from people, right? Always like start them lower and make them earn it and give them like these different limits and stuff. And as we kept hiring more people to help, like we hired, you know, callers for them so the callers would just hand them the phone i was like well you shouldn't be making 10 percent when these guys are just handing you the call right and but they didn't like that so that was not the best decision so it took me about a year to get back to like you know where i could breathe again i mean it was to the point dave where i was at a six week burn rate in my company where i was going to be Oof. out of business and i'm like how does this happen <laughs> you know so so we ended up um we ended up revamping our challenge and it was right when Corona hit. So Corona hit was back in March. At that same time, my marketing director uh, started up a company with my director of human resources. Oh, and, no. <laughs> crazy. And, and just before that, you couldn't even make this up. This, 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 this seems like it should be made up. But just before that, the day before I found that out, they had told me that I needed to fire my entire sales team because their heads were getting too big. And, and they oh, weren't gosh. performing ever since I had, you know. I had uh, changed their pay grade. They were like, look it, you're not going to re recover from this. We have to fire them all. I'm like, okay. So I did. And then I find out this. So anyway, 
<laughs> being like a blessing in disguise, right? And so I'm telling people this for this reason, because I think people don't talk about this sometimes. You have to understand that in business, like there are highs and lows and what you see sometimes doesn't always look like, you know, it takes money to make money and you have to be willing to adjust and to adapt and to just keep going forward, right? I mean, when that happened to me with my marketing director and my, um, my director of human resources, I mean, it hurt a little bit, but instead of me focusing on that, I was like, you know, the rear view mirror is behind me for a reason. Let's just focus forward. We're going to move past this. Let's modify and adjust. Well, at that time, what we did was we decided to change our challenge and to make it into what we call the client conversion accelerator, right? So we changed our verbiage because the funnel kind of stopped working a little bit. It wasn't quite as, you know, productive. Also make sure that you are willing to adapt, right? So we changed that and we just did amazing. Like we were just getting people into our, our free five-day client conversion accelerator, right? Challenge. And then the same thing was again, on day four, we would offer them to go into the high ticket coaching. Well, we just made a modification to that about four months ago. So we adapted our, our, our challenge. And now what we do is, is we actually, the first time we did it was we sold a 997 offer. We did around 85 of those. So we made around $85,000 on that, but, and we gave them a two day event. But we made a mistake because I didn't promote the two-day event enough. It was all about this 997 offer, right? So um, I had gotten some ad advice from Eileen Wilder, who said, Krista, instead of instead of making the you know 997 offer the sexy offer, make it the two-day event. Like they have to go to the two-day event. And so we just finally, after all these years, well, only three years, but you know, Russell's been saying, do an event, do an event, do an event. So we decided to do the challenge for free, right? It's a five-day free challenge. On day four, we made an offer to that they got a $97 two-day live event. On that two-day live event, we then make the offer to our high-ticket coaching program on day two. Our first month, which was just this past January, we made $1.4 million from a Zoom offer. Like it was Zoom. I didn't even have anything special. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, this right from Zoom. <laughs> We did a two day live event. And um, now mind you, I've been studying, like I have been just, I'm a relentless learner um, and I love studying people and watching people. So like I've been watching people on stage and closing and repitching and all this literally for three years. Like I've probably watched Payne June's event codex <laughs> times, right? So I'm not, I'm like I watched Russell doing it. I'm just watching everyone and kind of learning their sound bits and the things that they do. So I've gotten really, really good at, at closing on stage. So my first time we did 1.4 million. Um, in sales, we have, so we've, we've been converting that at about 21%. So from Zoom, then we did 1.15 uh, in February and then 1.1 1 .1, uh, in March. So it went down a little bit because we had, we had less people that were showing up because we think it's been like three days. So we have another one this coming Monday and Tuesday. Um, so that's how it works. So before it was high ticket offer um, from the book, right? Highest converting leads. Now our highest converting leads are from them going to the challenge from the two day event. The two day event now by far is our highest converting offer into high ticket. And the offer that I'm making is $23,000. It's $23,000 pay in full um, uh, from, from that offer. If they don't pay in full, they pay between 28 and 30,000 for the year. It's one year of coaching. They get access to all of my coaching portal as well as two days with me and they get two um, two virtual live events as well during that year. That is awesome. I like so let me talk faster than Russell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. So if I understand correctly, then it's a five day, it's a five day free challenge. Uh -huh. And so what are you finding is your cost to get people into the free challenge? That's a great question. So, um, we were averaging around $24 to get people in to the free challenge um, we're in the midst right now, kind of changing around our, who are, and again, that ranges from like, you know, 17 to $30, sure. right? So when I say 24, it's like right in the middle. Um, and to get people into the, the live event, it is, gosh, man, we've had, we've been having, it's been difficult this past week, quite frankly, enough so that we actually turned our ads off. They were performing so bad, but we're, it was right around $150 to get them into the to the event, but I was fine with that, right? So in other words, I know that I can close 21% of the room, meaning whoever's present. So if I've got 200 people there, I know that I'm closing like pretty much 45 of them, right? So I don't mind spending 25,000 to make, you know, one point. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so 
So it's okay to lose, right? Like we, it's, the idea is put it all in, get $2 out, but I had to kind of like over outweigh the cost. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're not somebody who's comfortable closing from stage or you haven't studied it like relentlessly like I have. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's how we're doing it. <laughs> so on the five-day free challenge, uh, on day four, is that where you're offering them the live two-day event for 97 bucks? Yep, that's what I make them the offer for $97. And I also do something where I, on day one, I make them raise their hand and commit to me that they'll do everything that I say the day I give it, right? So I'm like, don't forget, you raised your hand, you committed on Monday, and you said that you would do whatever I said. Go sign up for this two-day event. It's going to be worth way more than $97, right? You do not want to miss it. And so they get to a point where they don't want to because we give them so much value. Um, but, but they understand that, you know, I can only do so much in five days for an hour a day. But on a two-day event, they're 10 hours a day, right? I can really get into the tactics and the how-to of the strategy that I'm showing you. Um, yes. And, and another thing so what percent, of the, what percent of the people are converting then to the 97? So 100 people sign up for your five-day free challenge. How many can actually go to the 97? Around 40, 40, around 40, 45% of those people. Four, I would say 40, 40. We've had as much as 50 and we've had as low as yeah. 30, but the average is right around 40. That's awesome. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. And then you're also driving uh, paid traffic to the $97 offer as well? Yes, we're also driving paid traffic to the $97. I do need to get better better at like really, really evaluating my numbers, meaning, so like we're trying to figure out right now, okay, so should we spend our money getting people to the accelerator? Because I know that between 30 and 40% of those people are going to go to the two-day event because the cost is less, right? It's, it costs me six times the, less the amount to get them to the accelerator than it does to the, the, the two-day event. The difference is, is that, the show up rate to the two day event, I mean, you're talking like 97, 98% of people go to that two day event, right? At the challenge, it's around 30%. So let me give you a really good example. A month before last, we put a, in one of our challenges, we put a thousand people into it. But only out of those thousand people, only, God, what was it? I think it was like, right, give or take a little bit, but around 500 of them um, made it to the Facebook group. So we made a small adjustment with that. And that was, we said, hey, if you'd like to get some prizes and be entered in for some, for some free swag, give us your phone number. So now we have the phone number and then now we're able to text message them to remind them to get into the Facebook group. And we also did something where we're putting them into a, a messenger bot, right? So now they're getting messenger bot, we have their phone number. The next month that highly increased the people getting into the actual Facebook group, right? So that was that was a huge success. Um, I forgot your other question. <laughs> no, so I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess the main bottom line is, are you finding a better, is it, the, do you get a better buyer for people who've gone through the five-day free challenge or the people who you, you sold directly to the event? 100% directly to the, the people that, the, the, mo, the one that converts, um, that I make more money on is at the 97, I'm sorry, the two-day event, obviously, right? But they, it's more expensive to get them there, but they show up rate is like, five times what it is for the challenge. So we find about 25% of people, and what I understand that's actually pretty high. I talked to Pedro Adejo and he, <laughs> you know, the challenge king, he says it's between around 10 to 25%. We have a 25% stick rate. So if we get a thousand people into the free challenge, only 250 of them will show up right to the actual challenge. Right. Also we find that on average around 20% to 30, right. End up making it to day five. And I was like, am I a bad teacher? I mean, I, I <laughs> <laughs> it's just that people don't want to stick around, right? They're just, they don't have the stick to itness. So, you know, this last time we tried to bring up the $97 offer to let them know it was coming on day, um, on day one, but we're not going to do that this time because we, we realized that by doing that, we actually lost more people by mentioning that the $97 uh, offer on day one, we're going to wait until day four, because I really want people to get to know me and to trust me and to feel comfortable with me before I ever talk about any other offer. Cause I feel like when you do that, it kind of loses, loses trust. So we're still kind of playing with it. I mean, I've only been doing this now for the, for three months, you know, we're going, we're going on our fourth month this month on the ninth, you know, Monday and Tuesday. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely the, the, when you, I found that when you pay for something, you definitely are more likely to show up, even though it's only $97. I mean, I couldn't believe the difference in how many people show up to that two day event, but also they're showing up because a lot of that list, the majority of that list from that are going into the two day event have been coming from our, our list and from the accelerator. Does that make sense? Yep. Since we had the accelerator, they were exposed to me for five days. I gave massive, massive value. They were like, I'm not going to miss this. Right also our list. So we've been having the hardest time getting people into our 
two day event from our Facebook ads. Like they just, it's just been hard, you know? Um, right now we're like going through trying to find another media buyer and one that's really, really good. But like what Russell talks about, about building your list, I can't tell you how important that is because I mean, we haven't spent very much money at all on Facebook ads over the past three months. It's been from our list and from the accelerator for the community, love, but not yeah. for the accelerator. Does that make sense? I, no, it totally does. I, and again, that's one of the main reasons we've seen the same thing happen for us with our one funnel away challenge. Uh, those people who go through a one funnel away challenge, they stick longer inside of click funnels. They have greater success. They, I mean, they get totally indoctrinated into everything from a culture standpoint. They, they're just better believers. I mean, all the way around the board, it's just better for us. So that's been one of the main things we've looked at is how do we get more people into our challenge who then basically stick with us longer, but then they really want to buy more from you. They want to, they want to spend more time with you. They've, they now know who you are. They, they've been, the whole BS meter is gone. They understand where your heart truly is. And you're like, you know what? I want to be like Krista. And so my way of being like Krista is I got to follow her and, and do what she says. So I think it's, it's awesome just to see the, the value you're getting out of the challenge. I'm kind of curious. Uh, it's, I mean, to do a million dollars off of a Zoom call is really impressive. Because uh, <laughs> I, I, the part I'm so surprised because a lot of people say, well, you know, you can't really do that. You have to do all these other things. So I'm kind of curious, what is the actual sales process? There's a call to action. Do they fill out an application? Do they get on the phone with salespeople? What's, how does that whole process work? So, so let me just take that limiting belief away from, from everybody, right? So I was afraid of doing a, a, a live event. I, I should have done one so much long, a long time ago, right? The first event that I did where I made the most uh, was was just on a Zoom like this. I didn't have any fancy TVs. It was literally <laughs> just like this. I was standing though, right? On a Zoom call. And my first one that I'd never done. And that was where we made our most amount of money, okay? The second one, now I've got, you can see, so I like, I have the sales TVs. <laughs> And I, at first, I was like, that was so cool. So my husband literally made me like this, this studio where I've got six TVs now and um, and uh, I can see people and I can talk to them. And, uh, you know, that's been really, really helpful. But so the, the, the way that it, I have found that it's working so well, and again, I didn't learn this for myself. I learned this from, you know, following Russell and Peng June and, and, and um, you know, people like Myron Golden and seeing how they talk about seeding. Okay. So... One thing I think that any funnel hacker should listen to right now and, and, and hear this, anyone that's from ClickFunnels, is that when you do your bonus stack, if nobody knows what the value of the bonus stack is, it doesn't make a difference that they get the bonus, right? So you really have to get good at seeding exactly what it is that they're going to be getting um, when you do the stack. So what we learned was that, I mean, I'm like really going into how these things that are going to be a part of their offer and what I'm going to give them are going to help transform their business, Right. I'm huge with that and I've gotten really, really good at it. And another thing is really, really like getting them to believe that they can do it. It's so, so important because most people like they'll look at someone, they go, well, oh, Chris is doing good because she's got a lot of energy or because she's, you know, has blonde hair, whatever their thing is. <laughs> so it's like, it's like you have to really get them to believe that it doesn't matter who they are their age, their sex, their, you know, their energy level, introvert, extrovert, you know, that they can do this. And so a large part of that two days is really, really getting into their mindset and like getting them to be like, I can do it. And, you know, th that's one thing I, I think teaching is super important and giving them the taxes and the strategies, but you can't teach them to change their business and their life in two days. Right. But you can in two days, get them to believe that they can do it. So I think that's just a really important part for people to remember. And I remember Russell saying, you know, you're teaching too much. And I was like, what do you mean you're teaching too much? And he's like, you're teaching too much. And I'm like, I am. And he's like, yeah, you've got to not teach so much because people can't learn something that quickly. And I was yeah. like, okay. And so then I started studying and realizing. So I think that's been really, really helpful that the seeding of what they're going to be getting, making them understand the value behind it and how it can transform their business. And then also letting them know the things that they're going to be getting throughout the two days and really explaining how that's going to transform their life and their business the whole time from the second you start um, is huge. Man, I love that. I think seating is probably the most critical part that, again, when you kind of pull back the curtain, that's the part people miss the most. They think, oh, I just have to tell the offer. That seating is so critical throughout your whole presentation. So I, I yeah. love, love seeing that. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. So back to the actual call to action. Are you sending them to an application? Are you just sending them straight to a credit card form? I mean, what's, 
How does that work? You've now taught them for the last two days. What's your call to action? Where does it send them to? Is it another application funnel? Is it just an order form? How's that work? The first time that we did it, they had an opportunity to land on a landing page where it was like, you have more questions, you know, click here and schedule a call, right? The bad thing about that was that it took us like two weeks to get through that list. And what we noticed was, was that the amount of time from, you know, sure. as Two weeks goes by, the, the conversions, like the close rate started to drop. So I was like, and then, and we still did 1.4 million, right? But I think if we would have done it a little different the first time, we would have made more because we were noticing like, okay, two weeks has gone by, like the excitement's gone, right? The yeah. belief has gone, all that. So that's how we did it the first month. The second month, what we did was we said, um, okay, uh, now you're going to put down a, uh, a $2,000 deposit, right? Where it's like, you're reserving your spot, you're in, you're coaching with us, this is it. And you're either going to pay in full and boom, you're, you're starting on Monday or you're going to put $2,000 down. And we're not talking about, this isn't whether you're making a decision, you've made a commitment, right? Now it's a, let's talk payment plans. How can I afford this, right? And so that's what we did the, the last two. We're going to change it this time though because we've been talking about it and there's just too much confusion. Um, and I'm trying to think, what did we decide we were going to do? <laughs> what <are> we gonna do? <laughs> I think what we're going to be doing this Monday and Tuesday is, um, is we're just going to, uh, gosh, this is crazy, David. I don't remember what we even decided. So I'm just going to kind of guess here. So come this Monday and Tuesday, I think the idea is going to be to just like get on a call with our sales team. However, we're going to have this Zoom room open where it's like, hey, if you know you want to do this, you're ready, just jump in over here to the Zoom room that's open. You can ask, answer questions for my team, right? If you're ready to pay in full, pay in full, or, you know, just get on, just get on a book a call. The problem with that, though, is like we have to get through so many people, right? So we're, yeah. we're trying to figure out like how we can do this to where I'm not, my sales team doesn't have to, you know, I only have two salespeople, right? So, <laughs> so they don't have to go through, you know, you know, 75 people. So that's, that's kind of the, um, and I can't remember what we're doing. So I have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> 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 on Tuesday. Are you looking to transform your business? Well, if the answer is yes, then you don't want to miss out on our intensive event starting soon for only $97. This event is jam packed full days of live coaching with me. We have breakout sessions to customize and implement our daily training so that you can actually utilize them into your business. We're going to give you the training to craft your personal strategy to convert your leads into long-term clients. So let's go. What are you waiting for? Register now. Can't wait to see you there. And let's transform your business. <laughs> I love it. Chris, I could talk to you for days. I absolutely love spending time with you. I am so excited. I know in addition to this, you also have another thing you're doing outside of this uh, with Bart. What are you guys doing there? Yeah, so I'm super excited. So one thing that, you know, and it's funny that you even said the whole implementation thing, but I hear that from everybody, you know, in the inner circle all the time. I don't even realize that I'm like that, but apparently I'm a really good implementer. Um, and so, uh, and I am, I'm, I'm really good at, you know, accountability and productivity. And so is Bart, Bart Miller. I mean, he has just done amazing things. Like any kind of competition he's ever tried to go into, Bart has won. So um, what we're doing is we have a new business that we're launching and it's to help entrepreneurs and professionals, pretty much anyone in any area of their life, they're trying to improve, whether it's their business, their mindset, their marriage, you know, their faith, their health. We're helping them with accountability and productivity. So we have a new, uh, uh, business and what it does is is they're going to be signing up to a 15 minute daily accountability call where they basically state their intention for the day they commit that no matter what they're going to get that intention done so it's it's one of those things where it's like if i say that i'm going to do 10 video text messages i'm not going to bed until i do 10 video text messages and we're teaching them to change their behavior and and um and their environment right not to change their commitment and the idea behind it is they're going to see and the reason we're doing this is because I do this with my own students. It's called Skin in the Game. So we have this new company called Put Skin in the Game. And they'll, they'll be paying $25 a week to go on a 15-minute accountability call. They state their intention. The next day they show up again, they say whether or not they did it or not. If they didn't do it, they say what they're going to do to modify their behavior. So, for example, if I said, no, I didn't do 10 video text messages. You know, I let XYZ get in the way. Today I'm going to modify my behavior by doing this. And I'm going to commit today to doing you know, Z, right? And the idea behind it is that they're with other peers. So they learn from each other, right? And they also see how other people are modifying their behavior and not making excuses. So somebody will say, 
oh yeah, I'm so excited. Yes, I got my, you know, my marketing plan done and I did so by not, you know, I woke up two hours early this morning to make sure I got it done. And so you realize like, man, I'm the only person you're making these excuses. So we're going to work on their productivity and their accountability and their mindset all at the same time. So we're going to be teaching them mindset hacks and tips and strategies and tricks to really, really just be like the most you know, high performing person that they can become. So I am so excited about it. Oh, that's awesome. So for those of you guys who are listening right now, obviously all of Chris's coaching has primarily been focused on the real estate niche and working with agents and things. This is something that she and Bart Miller are doing that uh, no matter where you are, no matter what business you're in, you actually can get success out of by going through it. So Krista, what is, where should they go to sign up for this and how does it all work? Yeah. So you just, and thanks for letting me talk about it. That's so awesome. So you would go to um, putskininthegame.com, putskininthegame.com. And the reason we, we, we label it skin in the game is you actually have skin in the game. You're paying $25 right a week, hundred dollars a month to be able to have this accountability. So you want to build, you're putting skin in the game. Uh, so put skin in the game.com slash forward slash sign up. So put skin in the game.com forward slash sign up. We'll be launching on, I think it's June uh, 7th, but don't wait. Just go right now and sign up. It's going to be super great. Like we really, really are going to help you. You're going to see more momentum in a day than you do in a week, more momentum in your business, in your life, and whatever you're trying to do in a week than you see in a month or two. Like we've been doing this with my students and we've got just so many testimonials about how it's changing their business, their life, their happiness, and they're just moving the, the needle forward. So um, we cannot, that's, that's the reason we, we made the, uh, the new company was because I do this with my current coaching students now. It's a part of what I require them to do. They have to show up to this accountability call every single day. And it's just like, it's like, it's like your anchor to just getting stuff done, right? It's your anchor to, um, you know, making that commitment, getting it out there and actually doing it. I love that. I can say momentum is probably the, the biggest issue that the biggest hurdle most people have is just getting that momentum going. And I know if, uh, I've talked to Alex Sharfin about momentum a ton. I've had the opportunity to talk to tons of entrepreneurs and business owners uh, as, other, as well as other CEOs. Momentum is the biggest hurdle that most people have. And it's all of a sudden momentum gets stopped because of excuses. It gets stopped because you, you change different things. And I love the fact that you're helping people get that momentum in their life. So it's put skin in the game.com forward slash sign up. Uh, do it today. It's going to start in June 7th, but you want to make sure in the very, very beginning, because this is the very first part of get about getting that momentum right now. As soon as you hear something, take action right away. Otherwise, nothing ever happens. Uh, so go ahead, take action today. Go right now to put skin in the game.com forward slash sign up. You have the opportunity of working with Krista and with Bart Miller. And uh, I'm super excited to uh, have you on the podcast after and see how all that goes. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Dave. This is awesome. I love your energy. And hey, how'd you do on that water challenge? You, you drank water for five <laughs> days straight. Was that hard? <laughs> it was. But again, it goes back to the whole idea as far as momentum and uh, make sure it kept going. So yeah, Russell and I did a five-day water fast and it was literally just water for five days. Uh, I was so excited at the end. Uh, we went out to with our wives out to sushi, actually with Bart Miller. Bart was there as well. He happened to be in town. He was doing a rodeo contest. I know he told me he was going there. It's crazy. Like you guys had so much sushi. I'm all, they went from drinking water all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we ordered like 14 or 15 rolls and just, uh, just kept eating till we were sick. So <laughs> that's hard to see something like skin in the game is what helps you do something like that. And I got to tell you, like when you talk about momentum, I mean, it's amazing what happens when you just, so there's so much research about success, right? Like success breeds success and you do better with yourself. And so that's why we're so excited about this is because I read so many books like that talk all about, you know, habits and, you know, the brain and how it works. There's so much to be said about momentum and succeeding and focusing on what you're doing well, because when you focus on what you do well, you do more of it. And it's, it's like, and then other aspects of your life start to improve. So then just by actually getting more done, you're happier, you're more enthusiastic. People that are happier and more enthusiastic have, are, have been proven to actually make more money. There's so many things uh, that go along with this. It's not just about getting stuff done, but it's about like being whole, if that makes sense. So we're thrilled. And I, I just can't wait to make more of an impact. So I'm excited. Well, it's so funny, Mitch, because as soon as we got done, uh, the very first thing I was, I was sitting there, so we did it uh, basically Monday through Friday. I'm sitting there Saturday thinking, all right, I now have this momentum of doing this. Uh, obviously, you lose a ton of weight, but that wasn't the issue. It was more a matter of a habit and establishing a habit. And so I started, I reached out to Russ. I said, okay, we just finished that. Are you up for doing 75 hard? Which is a huge thing out there. And he's like, oh my gosh. 
I said, come on, we've, saw, we've talked about this forever. So we actually used the momentum of that to start 75 hard. So we started this Monday. So Russell, myself, and then I'm like, okay, I got to get a whole bunch of other people around me to support me in this. So I've got probably 30 people who are all doing 75 hard. And we've got a boxer group, basically, from an accountability standpoint. So again, I'm a huge believer in that. Uh, actually, I was uh, Dan Martell, a good friend of mine, high in the SaaS industry, says, the more I accomplish, the harder I work. And I've always loved that. And that's really the whole idea behind it. And Russell just snuck in. So real quick, Russell, you come here and say hi to Krista. I just did. I did so Krista! How you doing? What's up? How are you? You look good. I saw Amazing. you my heart. Trying to, but I can barely walk right now, but. Hey, I did it and I made a commitment that I would, that no matter what, I would not let anything get in the way. On day uh -huh. 73, I fell down my granite stairwell. I, I, I fainted, I had a seizure and I still did my two workouts. And <laughs> I was like, I'm doing this, you know? And just like you, Dave, I, I got like 50 of my students to do it with me. So we all did 75 hard together. It was awesome. <laughs> you're the most hardcore people i ever met i love it <laughs> <laughs> i was looking at you you like you just did your water fast and you did this i was like he's so like you're so like i don't know you guys have so much you know you're good i don't know always gotta do something or else it's a point. <laughs> <laughs> you look awesome you look awesome thanks for having me on here this is super fun i had a great time <laughs> oh very, very cool <laughs> well uh, thanks so much anything else uh no right now i'm gonna probably gonna call you tomorrow just so you know just so your heads up okay well that's right. cool from Russell, right? That's random. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> but I appreciate everyone. Take action. Just learning is not enough. You have to implement. Do it. <laughs> In the middle of the podcast. We got the podcast. Awesome. That. <laughs> awesome. Love having you on, Krista. Bye. Thanks so much. Anything, anything, let me know. I appreciate you. Will do. See ya. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.